Hello students, today we are going to analyze a portal frame both manually as well as on StatPro. So consider the following problem. This is from the book Theory of Structures by S. Ramamritan and R. Narayanan. This is a portal frame with A and D are hinged supports and an internal hinge at E point. Now we have to find the reactions at A and D and, the, and make the bending moment diagram. Let us see how we can do it. So we will copy this image here. Yeah, here we are. So what we need to find out is this say VA this say VD this say HD and this say HA Now there are f a few things which are very clear by just seeing the example like is that this is a symmetric case so VA VA is equal to VD HA is equal to HD alright and V is equal to V is equal to H. Now V A plus V D is equal to 60 into 6. Which implies V is equal to 360 divided by 2 is equal to 180. Kilonewtons. Right? Next to find H. So let us balance the moments on the right of E. It is 60 into 3 into 1.5 plus H into 6. The clockwise moments is equal to 180 that is VD into 3 or we say that the clockwise moments please excuse my handwriting is equal to the anti-clockwise moments. So H is equal to 90 minus 45 is equal to 45 kilonewton. Next part is finding out the bending moment. The bending moment at A is equal to bending moment at D which is equal to 0 since these are the hinge supports the bending moment at B is equal to the bending moment at C is equal to minus 45 into 6 is equal to minus 270 kilonewton meter so the BMD diagram would be something like this this is 270 this is also 270 it's 0 in the on the hinge 270 here and 270 here now we shall analyze it using stat let's create a new project
we name it portal frame units metric because we'll be working working meters create so here we are now first we need to make all the the nodes we will start from node a that was let's say it's zero then point b x zero and y six point c x six and y six point d x six and y zero and to mark and to mark the internal hinge we also need to create a node there so the node was at x is equal to 3 so sorry the hinge was at x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 6 so this is our e point let us view it from the front and now we shall join the beams so let it let's make this let's make the beam using the add beam function this time and here we are this is the geometry of our portal frame next we go to properties define new property since we are just analyzing it and we are not interested in the displacements we can use any of these values click here since all these beams all these columns all the members have the same property we can use the assign to view option yes I want to proceed right material we already have defined so we don't need to define the material again specifications we'll come to this later uh, the release the internal hinge has to be defined in the specifications first let's make the supports use cursor to assign so support at A and support at D done before going to loading let us see how an internal hinge is made so basically an internal hinge is nothing but it just releases the moment in the beam so the moment uh, let me show it to you, let me show it to you with the diagram yeah so the moment from this part will not transfer to this part and the moment from this part will not go to this part how to make it though we go to specifications tab click on beam and here it is release release time full release location now how this works is these are basically two different members in this beam and we need the release in the middle so if we choose start we will put the release in this member we will assign the release to this member if we click on end we will assign the release to this member there is no need to assign release to both the members only one shall do so we'll go with the start what we need to release we don't want to release the axial or the shear forces we just want to release the bending moment uh, and the mz is sufficient but you can click on this also but it doesn't matter since it's just a 2d frame add so now since it is start we have to assign it to this part assign to selected beams assign yes you see a circle here this is the release
now the release is made the internal hinge is defined and assigned now we go to loading simply add a load case detail doesn't matter whatever you type here this time I'll type question doesn't matter live load add close now click on question it will become it will be highlighted then click on add no we don't want to consider self weight the nodal load whenever a point force is applied on the nodes it is defined with it is created from the nodal load option and not the member load but this is a member load in our question so we will select this uniform force yes w1 is minus 60 so since this goes all throughout the beam we can simply put 0 and 0 here also add close select both of these members click on the force or the load assign to selected beams and click on assign yes so you can see it here the UDL has been assigned what we can do is structure diagram scales yeah now you can clearly see that the load has been applied on both the beams on both the members and now we'll go to the analysis part click on define commands perform analysis all type of analysis add close and run analysis go to post processing mode done load case question ok so this you can see is the deflected shape let me just zoom in yeah see this is the deflected shape the reactions these are the reactions here we can go to configuration annotate the reactions since we know that bending is free we don't need to use this global Z not required annotate close alright 45 means the, the 45 is the magnitude and this is positive means it is going towards the positive x-axis this is negative means it is going to go towards the negative x-axis already we didn't talk about it no yeah see towards the positive x-axis and towards the negative x-axis so these are the reactions and we can also see the beam results this is a bending moment diagram we can annotate these beam results ends maximum midpoint midpoint maximum ends end displacement ends maximum midpoint annotate ok 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 and done so you can see here 270 kilo newton per kilo newton meter and zero on the hinge one thing you should notice that the hinge is positioned slightly towards the right this is a setting in stag but it surely does means that it is 
on the start like in the midpoint now another thing i want to show you is how to add these pictures in our report good like for example if we want to add the reactions go to utilities take picture picture id 1 caption it as reactions okay now go to reports input all output all pictures picture one yes and whatever you want to add in the report the load cases modes ranges name and logo you want to change that's entirely your wish okay and you can see that the picture has been added so this is how you analyze a portal frame i hope you guys understood something from this video thank you and have a nice day